I have faith in God because, you know, he's an important part of my life because, I mean, it's like, well, it's hard to explain. But I also have faith in my family because I know that they're all, they're, they will always be there for me. I have faith in myself and in God. I mean, I try to go to church when I can, but I'm usually at work. Yeah. Or are there times when your faith wavers? Sometimes my faith wavers. How come? What causes that to happen? Sometimes something would happen and I'd be like, but I thought God it's real. I thought he's supposed to help you. Okay. And things and in problems. Okay. All right. So Alisa says sometimes her faith wavers when bad things happen. Have any of the rest of you experienced that or not? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How does that happen, Tara? I guess maybe if uh, someone in your family dies or something, mm -hmm. and you're really upset about it, mm -hmm. you just like you know you thought that God is there, that He wouldn't let anything happen. But I have like faith in God because I know that like God and my church family and everything where I go to church at, to always be there in case I need money or something to help out. It always like help me out in like a little way, but it still helps to know that they're there. I have faith in myself too because um, you have to have faith in yourself if you want to get anywhere. Faith is more like trust and it's really hard to trust people. That, like you can't hardly trust anybody except like maybe your family and friends. But why is it difficult sometimes, Kelly, to have faith? It's difficult to have faith in things because things are always changing. I mean, you can't have faith in the government because we get a new, we get a new president every four years, you know, and so rules are going to change. Really, you know, the only thing you can have faith in is, is God. You know, I mean, that's, that's what it, it's, it's all about because, you know, it's like the girl said, you can't have faith in the government, for example. You know, it's changing. Um, and everything changes. I mean, even, even I know for myself, I watch myself grow over the years, and my opinions about things change all the time. You know, but the one thing that doesn't change is God, you know, he's the same all the time, even though I might not think so. I might think one day he's mad at me and the next day he's not. But to be honest with you, he doesn't change. And, and, and so that's like that's the most comforting thing that I, you, you can have. You know, it's like I tell people with um, I always use my wife or my, you know, a family or my job or whatever. But but e example with my wife, you know, a lot of people in my situation, they always say, why didn't you sign a prenuptial agreement? I mean, they can't understand. You know, they say, well, it shouldn't affect the way you guys are married. You know, but I, I told them, I said, you know what? I have faith that we're going to be together for the rest of our lives. You know, because our, our relationship is based on what God's given us. So if that fails, then, then I mean, everything that I believe in is, it falls apart. You know, I mean, she might, she might, um, fall away from God, and that would mean more to me than her falling away from me, you know, and so that would hurt me more than her deciding not to live with me, because I'm kind of a jerk sometimes. She may not want to live with me sometimes, but if she, if she walks away from him, then we've lost everything we had anyway. I have self-doubts all the time. I mean, I always wonder, can I go to the next stage? Can I be better than I am today? I mean, it, it's, you know, I've had a lot of success and, 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 and where do I go and how do I go out even farther now? You know, how do I affect my community even more than I have now? How do I do things more positive? I mean, can I really be a good father to my children? I mean, you know, can I keep them from all the dangerous things out there? Can I raise them in a way that they're, that they're good children and not little brats that run around and tear everything up? I mean, it, it, it's, um, you know, it's a scary thing to, to, to when you, you you feel like I can't do this. I mean, it's too hard. I can't do this, and and I think you, that's where you just say, hey, you know, I know that if I just am faithful today, to, today if I just trust God and do what I need to do today and be faithful, and I, I just he's all he says is, hey, David, don't worry about your marriage 20 years from now. Love your wife today. That's it. That's all I want you to do, okay? That's being faithful. Just love her as much as you can today. And then tomorrow, we'll worry about that, okay? But today, you do this. And it's with your children. You know, spend as much time and honor them as much as you can today. And tomorrow, I'll take care of them. Don't worry about it. You know, we'll, we'll start all over tomorrow. But, you know, in, in my job, that's what he says. He says, David, I know you want to be a great basketball player, but, but just go today. Just be the best basketball player you can. Go out there and work as hard as you can today and then get some rest and tomorrow we'll talk about the way you need to go tomorrow. You know, life isn't about putting, you know, putting 
uh, trophies on your shelf. You know, it, it's not about you being bigger or better than the next guy. You know, it's about uh, trusting that God's going to use you to do something really special. And you need to be ready for that. You know, you need to be, you need to work as hard as you can in school. You need to do in every area, everything that you put your hands on, you do it as well as you can because you never know how it's going to be used. Uh, and that's what faith is about. And that's what gives you the power to do great things. I mean, greater things than you could have ever imagined.